Hey, good morning, everybody. Back up to the Sean Green Show. My name is Sean Green. How are y'all doing on this beautiful, beautiful Friday morning? TGIF. Thank God it's TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. I, I know. Hey, how are y'all doing? For real. Hey. Um. So I didn't try to do try to I I do I didn't do a show yesterday. I went to work. Did my twelve hours right? Then then supervisor said, "Oh, Sean, you have to go over here for for info for class." I'm like. Go here for off for class. What the? What the? F- I sprung you out of nowhere. Basically, class, aka training. That's what they call it. Now, if they call it training. They'll call it a class. Basically. Okay. Cool. Cool. Went over there. Went for the class. For, 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 for so called class. Even the instructor was like, "Sean, what you doing here? This is something you already know. You you've been here fourteen years." I'm like. Exactly. And it was stuff that I already know. Don't you hate that? Your job sends you for training for sh- that you already know. Especially if you've been there for five plus years. It's like, why are you saying for something that I already know, basically? I mean, crap. I mean, I understand sometimes policy changes, basically, after so many years. Oh, oh, this change, this change. We, 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 we take a new policy. Cool, but if it's not already know, it's a waste of my time and a waste of the instructor's time. It really is. I mean, hey, I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy to get the. I'm happy to get the extra four hours free. That, that, that's money, but not going to my pocket. Cool, cool. But since I'm living in the state of Connecticut, that be I, I probably end up. I probably end up with less than half of that one. Now, most of that is going to taxes. Freaking state of Connecticut, but still. It's extra money I wouldn't I wouldn't have gotten for real, but hey, let me stop complaining. Let me stop complaining. But still, it's a waste of time. It really is, man. Man, y'all know what I'm talking about, man. For real. All right, let's get started. Let's get started, man. Hey, let's get started, man. For real. Hey, hey, they release basic. Hey, I'm gonna say this, man. I hope the I hope the NBA know what they're doing. Giving the Los Angeles Lakers this much live TV time. I mean, hope you know what you're doing. Because the Lakers so far, Lakers didn't do not, not that much in the offseason. They haven't. Like, for instance, the Lakers are going to have 11 games on TNT, 12 games on NBA TV, and 10, and, and, and 10 more games on ABC and, and ESPN. Cool. Cool, but get cool, I, cool, cool. I, I know when the um the popular team, very popular team, one now, but the very popular team is huge Laker fans all over the place. Who Lakers Lakers fans all over the place? Basically, that's gonna boost range one up for the NBA. It's good, cool. I understand that, but I hope you know what you're doing one up because again, so far the Lakers are coming in with the same team as last season. They didn't do much during the off season. Well, off season. Oh yeah, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They 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 did do something. The Lakers have signed center center Kyle Corley and guard and guard Quincy Oliveri. Quincy Oliveri. Good. Good. You good. You got a center. You signed the center. Basically, you signed the center and a guard. Basically, players players more players come off the bench. But still, that does not. Still, that's like ugh ugh. You still got teams around you that went and got better. Sacramento got better. I mean, huge better. Hell, you could even come out there and say San Antonio has gotten better also. Again, I hope that was a smart move, given given um Lakers this much TV time. I hope it was smart because hey, you gonna because if the Lakers have a losing season, it could be broadcasted all over, all over for real. All over. I mean, they did not do. They did not. They, they did not do much for real. They did not do much. I mean, also noteworthy that this also they released the season opener. Basically, went up for the NBA. Basically, the season opener is going to be on TNT again. This, this is going to be last year for NBA and TNT. This sucks. Sucks, man. You could take Warner Brothers for that for real. Freaking Warner Brothers, man. <sighs> 
they lost the TV rights, so this is gonna be last year for for, for um NBA and TNT. Um, the season opener is going to be October 24th, and it's going to be Oklahoma City Thunder and the Denver Nuggets. Mm, good season opener. Hey, hey, hey. You know, good season opener. Good season opener when Oklahoma and Denver. Good season opener when not. Good season opener, basically. Get, get to see my man, um, Russell Westbrook, basically. Russell Westbrook, basically. Hey, good season opener. I, I, I'm not complaining. Good season Good, good, decent, good, decent season opener for real. I can't really complain. Also, also more NBA transactions, basically. Yo, Utah's been getting a lot of these players, man. Hey, I don't know where to be finding them from. Hey, Utah, um, when the Utah announced they signed forward, for forward, um, Bakar Sang, Vogar Sang. Bakar Sang, he played two seasons in the G League, basically. So, um, Utah went, Utah, Utah went, and, um, Picked him up, basically. <laughs> Picked him up, basically. Hey, you know what? Hey, hey, who knows? Who knows, man? Hey, Utah right now in a rebuild mode, basically. Somewhat rebuild mode. But the thing is, it's just hard for Utah to keep players. It really is hard for Utah to keep players. It's basically because, again, look, again, y'all don't believe me? Read the interview, what not, with uh, Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell said the reason why he left Utah was because of the team. It was to be a work of the team or um, ownership or anything. He said he got tired of always being pulled over by police. He could get to the police. I'm an NBA player for the NBA player for Utah Jazz. He could get constantly get pulled over, pulled over, pulled over, pulled over, pulled over. After a while, he get tired of it. You know, say what deuces. He said that's why he said deuces. For real. In a way, I don't. In a way, honestly, I don't blame him. After all, you, you, know, you will get tired of it. You're going to say, you know what? F this, man. I'm out. And I won't. I don't blame him. I really don't. No one like being harassed like that, for real. That's why I said it's going to be hard, hard for Utah Jazz to get people, for real. For also, again, hey, I got to get the. Also, Utah Jazz did this. Smart move. He's a good player. Damn good player, basically one of the good dang player. But now I expect him to be starting basically. Utah, Utah Jazz signed free agent Patty Mills to one year, three point three million dollar deal. My man Patty Mills. Patty Mills is a good basketball player. He really is. He's good. Patty Mills can ball. Patty Mills can ball, and you got him on that Utah Jazz with some of these young, with some of these young players, basically what now? Hey, 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 good move. Hey, hey. Good move, hey, good move by Danny Ainge, man. Good move to Danny Ainge. Patty Mills the snow ball, for real. He, he really, he, he really, he really could snow ball. I'm happy, my, I'm happy my man, um, Patty Mills. I really am happy, for real. Also, uh, also, what not, um, also being looked at, basically, we looked at, I'm gonna hate to say this, the Lakers, Lakers, look at that, Lakers should sign him. Basically, my man, John Wall. You got, you got the Miami Heat somewhat looking at him. And you got um, the Lakers looking at him. Right now, he's playing in some little, like, small little summer league, basically, when I, in um, Florida right now. Basically, when I was in Florida right now. Miami and the Lakers, Miami and the Lakers are looking at um, uh, um, John Wall. I hate to, if I'm the Lakers, go for it, get him. Because what do you got to lose right now? What do you have to lose right now? You, you, you're going to lose right now, for real. I say go for it. I say go for it and get him. For real, cause you for for have him come off the bench. Real talk, you need a player right now, and honestly, you need you need you need a player right now. And I say go out, go out there and get John Wall. Go out there and get him, man. For real. I mean, damn, because the way the Lakers are, Lakers, Lakers, where the Lakers are at right now, the way he looks right now, I'll be honest with you, I don't even think they make the plan. I'm being real talk. I don't think they make the plan. The way it's set up right now, I don't think they're the plan for real. <clears throat> I say go out there and I say go out there and sign John Wall. I right, for real. I mean, I, I am being honestly real here. That's again, that's my personal opinion. I say go out there basically and sign John Wall. Also, also this year the Lakers are going to retire. Uh, it's going to retire the jersey number twenty one of of you know raise the jersey of my man Mike of, of Michael Cooper, yo. Mike Cooper, five-time, five-time champion, defensive defensive specialist. Yo, Mike Cooper was that dude. 
Michael Cooper, what's that do for the Lakers? For real. A lot of y'all, mmm. Like, ooh. My man, Michael Cooper, with them Showtime Lakers. Kareem, all them. Kareem, all them. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Michael Cooper, what's that do? Deep defense, especially lockdown, lockdown D. Lockdown D, lockdown D. Good player. I had a good player I had with the team. Play good defense, rebounding, one down, the score, the whole nine yards. A player you play, you're not going to underestimate, for real. He deserved to have his jersey number retired. Real talk. I'm not even a Laker fan, I'm saying this. He deserves it. He pretty deep, damn well deserves it. All the five championships, what the championships he got, he got, he got basically, he, he earned every single last one of those. He what really he did. He what really he did. And he was a defensive specialist. Will lock you the down, for real. For real. He's one of those players, he was one of those must-haves on your team back in the day. Even right, even, even, even say right now, even right, even right now, you get a basketball player, basketball player whatnot, who's a defensive specialist, any coach would love to have. Any coach would love to have. Defensive specialist, defensive specialist love to have. I keep telling these players, it's not all about scoring. Let the dude come in who's a defensive specialist, lockdown rebounder, any coach will, any coach will, they want bam, I'm picking up you starting. For real. But well, Michael Cooper, man, mmm, 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 he was that dude. Y'all, hey, hey, shh. Y'all don't believe me, man? Hey, hey, y'all, hey, a lot of y'all go to YouTube, YouTuber. YouTube Michael Cooper, for real. He deserved to have a jersey number retired. He damn well deserves it, for real. Honestly, he, he actually, he, he is, uh, he is, up there to me personally, I believe he's a Laker legend. He, he's a Laker legend for real. He really is. He's up there, up, up there with Magic, Magic Kareem, Magic Kareem, Michael Kareem, and all that for real. Michael Cooper, man, yo, Michael Cooper was that dude. Michael, Cooper, I, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm a little kid. I grew up watching Michael Cooper and the Lakers, man, for real. Michael Cooper was that dude. Yeah, hey, congratulations, to Michael Cooper and his family. He deserved to have that number retired, man, for real. Honestly, he deserves it. He did, he damn he, he deserved it for real. They should have been did this a long time ago. Roll talk. Should have been did a long time ago, man. Retired my man's number, man, for real. They should have been retired his number a long time ago. For real, Mike, yo, Mike, yo, Mike Cooper, man, for real. Mike Cooper, for real. Man, mm -hmm. Also, oh, um, hey, hey, switch against his, hey, switch against here to, switch against here to football. I mean, mm. More drama, right? With the Dallas Cowboys. Remember that? Remember that offer and whatnot? I, I, um, last, last, last episode of my show, when I told you when that Dallas made one of the CD Lamb, the, um, uh, 32 to 32.3 million dollars. Even dollars. It wasn't, it wasn't the best. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the least. It was like the second best. It, 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 it have been the second best, second highest um, pay receiver. This what he said. Still a little low and turned it down. You turned it. <clears throat> Here's why I say what I, I mean, I'm with you. He's not worth more than that. I'm going to give you my opinion. A lot of y'all looking at me like, what are you talking about? Here's why I say he's not worth more than 30, 30, 32 million dollars. One, when the last time y'all won a playoff game? Let's be real here. When the last time the Dallas Cowboys won a playoff game? Can somebody tell me? Can somebody tell me? Again, when the last time y'all won a playoff game? For real, real talk. Point. My point exactly. My point. The last time they even won the Super Bowl, basically. Was back when I was in grade school. Back out of grade school. Emma Smith, Emma Smith, we was Troy Aikman, Emma and Michael Irvin and all of them. I was back when I was in grade school, playing Sega Genesis. I mean, damn. I mean, I mean, I'll be honest with you, man, for real. He should have, I want you, at least, at least the Cowboys, they said we tried. We tried, and we tried for real. He's not worth worth more than 30, 32 million. He's not worth worth that. Uh, unless you win some playoff games, you're not. 
the regular season, you're nice. I said the regular season, Dallas is the is. But but playoffs, man, playoffs is like mm, what Dallas at, yo, yo what, what Dallas at? Dallas at can't win again to say they life. To say they life. For real. We, mm, he should he should turn it down. He shouldn't have. He shouldn't have again. Again, my per, again. That's um. That's uh, my personal opinion. He should. He should not have turned it down for real. He shouldn't have, man. I mean, it's not. It's not enough money. It's not. It's not enough, man. Please, 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 please. It's not. Not enough, man. Not enough money. Oh my God. Not my free. Also. I like Colin Kaepernick. I really do love Colin Kaepernick. Jim Harbaugh asked him, "What well, now? Hey, why don't you why don't you come why don't you come work for me as, as as one of my coaches?" He said, "No, he wants to play." I'm like, "Why are you gonna say no?" I would have took the job. You're not going to hey, accept the fact. You're not going to go back in the field. No one's not going to take you back in the field. Nobody, but you get an opportunity to become basically a, a to become a coach. I would take that assistant coaching job and hopefully one day become a coach on the sidelines. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that for real. But no, Colin Kaepernick says no. You know what? If he, I'll be honest with you, if he does not come back to the NFL again, I'm gonna say this: it's his fault. It's it's his fault now. You got opportunity to come back. You, Jim, my man, Jim Harbaugh, offer you, uh, offer you a coaching position. Take the job. Take it. I mean, damn. At least you're in the NFL. You coaching. But, but being on the field, the older you get, the older you get, the more you, the more you get, we'll be like, we'll be like, back off. Be back up by being from I'm gonna be real here. He, me personally, he, he should have took that job. Jim Harbor offered him a job for real. He should have took it. He should have took that head coaching job. He really should have. But hey, sometimes, man, I'm gonna say this. Sometimes, man, um, pride, man, that pride will, mm, that pride will ruin you, man. For real, I think that's what's going on right here. That pride is, ah, oh, hell no. I'll be back in the field throwing, throwing, throwing. Look how old you are, dog. It's not going to happen. But at least, but at least you can be on that sidelines, which ain't nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with that. There's been some players, some some NFL players, that's been better coaches than players. There, there's been some NBA players that's been better coaches than NBA players. For real. Ain't nothing wrong being a coach. But hey. But hey, he just he 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 just turned it down, man. Me, me personally, I would have done that. I wouldn't have um I would have turned that down in for real. I, I really would turn it down for real. I I, I really would turn it down for real. Also, also injury news, man. This again, this is why I hate the preseason. You got players dropping like this. Play just dropping like that when it comes to injuries. Um, Vikings rookie first round pick JJ McCarthy expected to undergo knee surgery. That would knee surgery basically. That would, that would determine that would determine how long going to be out. You lost your veteran quarterback. I ain't gonna go to knee surgery. Most likely he probably be out for several weeks. I mean, most likely. I mean, damn. Again, man, this is why I hate the freaking preseason, man. I really do. I mean. It's, it's, I mean, you got players, man. This is, it's just damn. It's just damn, 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 damn. Hey, 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 despite all this, despite all this, but not, there was a part of this, basically, there was some baseball, hey, there was some baseball yesterday, for real, there was a baseball yesterday, baseball, trust, baseball, trust, baseball, trust, baseball, trust, baseball, started turning it down, basically, when not, playoffs, right, playoffs, playoffs are right around the corner. For the base play playoffs are right uh playoffs are right around the corner, for real. You had the you had the twins beat the Rangers three to two. Rangers fell off this year. 
that bullpen just couldn't get healthy. They just couldn't get healthy. That range Rangers fell right off this year, for real. You got the Phillies beat the Nationals 13 to 13 to 3. Ooh. You got you got um the Orioles beat the Red Sox 5 to 1. Freak the Red Sox, man. But still, it's the Orioles, man. It's the Orioles. You got um, Giants beat the Braves six nothing. Whoa, wow! Now the Giants are back at five hundred for real. You got the, the Brewers beat the Brewers beat the Dodgers six to four. Freaking, mm. and you got the Tigers beat the Mariners two to one. Mm. And you got Oakland beat the Mets seven to six. I mean, come on! I mean. Sh- if I thought of the Oakland pull off the largest comeback since the pitch clock era. I mean, I mean, again, Mets got a good team. It's the pitching this year that's been holding them back. It's been the damn pitching. I mean, come on, Mets, man. I mean, come on, damn. Hey, it's eight Friday. It's eight Friday. Eight, eight Friday, one of those of you who don't want to watch SmackDown. SmackDown should be good tonight. Oh, my God, it should be good tonight for real. There is a there is a baseball game. Those of you those of you who do have Apple TV, well not um actually at two, at at, at two twenty an early game today, early game today you got Blue Jays and Cubs at two twenty. Um, the Yankees play at six forty. They're on the road and they play and play against Detroit Tigers on the road at it'll be a Yes Network at um six forty, and um. <laughs> Oh and oh, and I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Oh, at six forty, this should be it should be an okay game. Which be okay game at six forty at on, on Apple TV. Basically, you got our Mariners Pirates at six forty at on six forty for real. Apple TV, man, hey, it's I mean, honest with you, Apple TV is okay. But it's okay what they did lower their prices. They really did. Uh, I mean, I'm, I, have, I have Apple TV. I have no complaints, basically. Only complaint, I'm sorry. One thing they had, they, do have, they could get better shows. You got some good shows. Yes, got some good shows. Yes. You got the morning show, which which I guess that was supposed to be the female version of the newsroom. Mm-mm. It was good, though. It was good. Like a friend, it was good, but not as good as the newsroom. The newsroom, y'all remember my newsroom that had that killer opening? Oh my, mm, 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 my, mm. It had a killer opening scene. To this day, it's used on TikTok and memes all over the place. To do the place, damn good show. All the reason why that stopped because because the because the creator couldn't figure out a way to top that that another season. That's gonna top the previous season. That was, that was the only reason. That was the only reason. I mean that show ooh, was good. It was mm, it was really really good for real. Also, um, I should have also one that um, on the Gamescom is coming back this year. It's gonna be August. It's gonna be in August basically. And one of the stuff in the show at Gamescom basically is Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. I guess that was we're gonna find out a release date for this for this game. The game is supposed to come out this year. It's gonna be so far as we know it. It's gonna be an Xbox exclusive, Xbox exclusive, which is yes, Xbox exclusive, and they're gonna stream this live, and stream this live basically um, on Tuesday, August twentieth, August twentieth at um at um two o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time for real. Hey, the Indiana Jones game looks hot. It really did. It does look hot. It looks good. Basically, it looks really really good. It's a game. I'm, I'm not gonna front. In game, I might even try to pick up. For real, it does look like an exciting game. For real, I guarantee you. Basically, I guarantee you, I'm a laugh too. If it's true, if it's a love laugh, if it's a laugh, that the storyline of this game is better. Than, is better basically than the movie. Than the last movie that came out. If, I mean, oh my god. If that's, just, I mean, I'll laugh. I'll laugh if that happens. I'll laugh. I really would. I, re- I really, really would. For real. Honestly, I really, really would, for real. Also, also expected to come out November. Also expected to come out November twenty second, and this 
This only is not coming based in the Xbox. Neither it kind of come to Xbox, and it sucks. This is it kind of Xbox. It sucks, man, for real. Marvel versus Capcom, five um on um, um, fighting collectors um edition, November twenty second. Yes, I mean that sucks. Marvel vs. Capcom collection edition, all the previous Marvel ones from PS2, all them, and one big collection game, and it's not coming to Xbox? That sucks, man. It's coming, it's coming to the Nintendo Switch, it's coming to the PlayStation 4, it's coming to the PlayStation 5, but not Xbox. Man, that sucks. I mean, this, I mean, this, I mean, this really does suck, man. Ain't fair. That's not fair, man, for real. I mean, this is why I get mad. You got Xbox sharing their exclusive basically with with PlayStation, but we can't get this. We can't get this. I mean, come on. This is why I say Xbox should stop sharing exclusives, man. Until um, oh, oh, hey, I'm happy why not that I remember when that Sony ish Sony does share. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sony does share and will be the show, which I'm grateful. I'm grateful, but but come on. Can we get Marvel's Capcom? What about Spider Man? I mean, come on, come on with the Xbox. I mean, come on, man, for real. I mean, damn, man. That's why I say I hope any of the Jones stay with um, Marvel, stay with Cap, stay with um, Xbox, man, for real, for real. They want to give us, they want to give us Marvel vs. Capcom, but you want to collect the um, 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 collection, man. That sucks. You know, you know it's gonna be a hot fighting game, man. For real, that ain't right, man. Ain't right at all. For real, that's 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 not even. That's not even right. For real, that is not. That's just not even, even, even right. For real. Also, um, what you can share in movies, why not? Eternals two is not an active development. If those of you expecting Eternals two, it's not gonna happen. If you're expecting She-Hulk season season two, not gonna happen. If you're expecting Marvel's uh, um, kept them another, another kept the Marvel movie, that's not gonna happen. Did they, they cancel them? Yes, yes, yes. They. I'm sorry, some of y'all might, might not be mad. Might be mad what I'm saying, but they need to get canceled. They really did. It's not gonna happen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. That's not good. It's not gonna happen. Thank you, God, for real, for real. I mean, shh, please, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, for real. Hey, hey, don't forget to watch SmackDown today. SmackDown should be hot. Hey, SmackDown's gonna be hot tonight, for real. Don't forget, don't forget to check that out, for real. Um, hey, check that out for real. Don't forget to watch the baseball games on, 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 on Apple TV. One's at two o'clock. Another one, another one, another one at um six o'clock. All right. Hey, thanks for my podcast. Podcast available whenever you get podcasts. Or Podbean, Spotify, Monster Apple Podcasts, Monster One iHeartRadio. I'm live. What not on my um Twitch account, Sean Green Eight on One Word. I'm also live. I'm a I'm a YouTube channel, Sean Green Show. Y'all have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. Enjoy this beautiful weather. It's, it's beautiful outside right now. It's beautiful outside, but tomorrow's supposed to rain. Hey, all right. So um, hey, it, but hey, enjoy this beautiful weather outside for real. I have fun. Just have fun this Friday night for real. Don't wild out for real. Don't wild out for real. Please, please don't wild out, man, for real. All right? Y'all have a blessed day.